Hello everyone! I present you my new script. It is called Advanced Comp Grids and it is used to create a lot of grids to help the composition better. Of course, in After Effects we do have proportional grid, uh, we can have uh, data collection safe, also we can create some rulers, but it is frankly not enough. So let's uncheck all this and look what my script does. Here I have a lot of presets. And first one is bunch of grids. Let's draw this one. And here we have it. Uh, we have rule of thirds, diagonal lines, cross line, and also we have proportional square grid, with which we can customize. We can check or uncheck small squares, and also we can play with safe margins. What's good about this grid is that it creates all these grids as shape layers, and you can check or uncheck the ones you need or you don't need. Also, you can modify the color. For example, you want to be you want the diagonals to be uh, blue and very thick. Okay, here we have it. But also we have other presets like bare minimum. It's only thirds, cross lines, diagonal lines. Uh, only thirds. Here are only thirds. And the next one is very interesting. It's called hexagons. So let's create new composition and draw it there. So hexagons may be used not only as a grid to place your objects, but also as a texture or a pattern. And you can of course customize color, thickness and size. Here we have hexagons. The next one is isometric. I really like this one. So let's draw this. And isometrics is used to place your objects in isometric projection. For example, when you do objects for casual games, there are a lot of isometry, so you just duplicate and you may see where you place them. You may also draw objects using this uh, grid. Of course, it's customizable. You can check or uncheck vertical lines and small isometrics. Play with size as you want. It's isometry. And the last but not least, is golden ratio. It creates golden rectangles over here and they are of course customizable. First you set the point from where you want them to be built and next to where and of course it resizes when you fl flip it over, flips over, like right here, here, here. And it's also a shape layer so it's very easy to customize the size, the stroke color, so here we have it, advanced comp grids.